Hello guys, today we're going over the survival kit in a can. Um, um, I was at Academy looking at some of their um, hiking stuff and I saw this survival kit in a can so I decided to give it a shot. But the only problem is, is that I was kind of pricey on the $13 price. Um, there was another survival kit there that was um, like $8 and that was a lot cheaper than this one. But I already had the other one so I wanted to try out this one. So I'm going to be opening it with y'all. It has everything has in it labeled, but I don't really want to look at that. I want to just open it. So let's see what we got cooking. Okay. First we get what it looks like duct tape. Some duct tape, that's always good. Uh, maybe a foot. Yeah, it's just about a foot. That's good. Put that to the side. We got some soup mix. Um, it's not much, but it's soup mix. Then we got some. Well, we got bag. This rival kit's okay so far. Regular matches. The only problem I have with regular matches is if they get wet, they're all kind of gone. Unless you dry them out really good, but. I never dried them out really good, so I don't know if that should work. A tea bag. I don't know what kind of tea, though. Signal brand Orange Pokey. Pokey tea bag. Black tea. Okay, that's good enough. Whatever. Then we get some sewing thread, it looks like. Okay. Then we get survival candy for, like, if you have diabetes or something, I'm guessing. I won't need it, but... Then we get some bubble gum. Have to test out some of this candy later. Um, a little hook. Probably need to put that in my fishing kit because my fishing kit has a rusty hook in it and I want to get that out. So I may put that in there. A uh, safety pin. A bigger safety pin. A um, blade. I don't know how sharp it is though. If I can get this cardboard off. Urgh. Oh, that's pretty sharp. That's a good blade. Now, see, I'm more of a knife person, not a blade person. Because I can't really do anything with a blade, so, yeah. Then we got some steel wire, it looks like here. Or copper wire or something. Some sort of wire. It doesn't look too thick, but we could probably do something with it. Then we got some... Well, another hook, I mean. Ugh. Some fire cubes. Those are always good to have. A compass. Let's see if it points north every time. Well, that doesn't look promising. Let's see if I can't get to focus. Focus. Doesn't want to focus. Okay, there we go. See, it doesn't want to f point north. Yeah, I'd, this is a very bad compass. But in a survival situation, I guess I'd take it. I don't know. A pencil that can clip onto something. Uh, some rope that can be taken apart, but this is very thin, so I don't think I'd want to be taking that apart too much. Four waterproof matches. Two nails to like nail up your stuff if you have any with you, but more than likely you're getting into this because you don't have any stuff. Then we get a needle for that thread that we had earlier. Sew up any cloth you have. I'm guessing the fishing hooks there, the thread was, is supposed to be like your fishing line. Some sugar. Um, I don't know if that's any good, but... Then we got an emergency whistle. Let's check it. That is insanely loud. Okay, then we got some... Sterile alcohol prep pads. Those are good to have. And I do not know why we have these, though. Um. Yeah. That's. <laughs> then we got basic survival tips. Outdoors. Shows you some pictures on how to use this stuff. I'm guessing. 
Yeah, it shows you pictures on how to use this stuff. That's always good because sometimes I don't understand things. And some paper for the pencil. Don't really need to use the pencil paper. I'll probably use the paper for um, some fire starter. Two band-aids. A reflector. There we go. A reflector. What? Can you see me? And a tin can. The tin can, I'm guessing it's for, you know, uh, boiling water I could do with that. So I'm about to try some of this uh, candy here to see how good it is. Okay, guys, um, here's the bubble gum, and here's the hard candy. I'm gonna eat the hard candy first since the bubble gum I can chew. I just wanna see if this candy is any good. Because sometimes it tastes terrible, and I don't want to. If I get in there, there we go. It came out. It's a little hard, though. Tastes like, like a wannabe peppermint, actually. Like a green mint, or whatever. I don't know. Okay, now it's time for the bubblegum. We'll see if this is any good. Another candy wasn't too good, but it's okay. About to find out what this tastes like. It's 10 cents, though. If y'all can see that right there. One zero cents. Ten American cents. Ah, it's hard. Hmm. Uh, that's sugar free. I don't really like it. Survival candy is not that good, but what do you expect? So, yeah. Came with a funny. Wow, let's read it. Cool spaceship. Hey, thanks. I had to trade in my older one for more fuel. The efficient cruiser. I don't get it. But I can't read worth crap either, so whatever. Please like and subscribe.